Hello guys, this is Tori here with Holiness Fellowship Meeting, and we are going to do a dessert slash prayer, and uh, before we do that though, we're going to talk about something that normally we don't talk about, yeah, and that is... what we believe and don't believe that the church has to teach. Yeah. Um, there was a saying from a certain church that I am subscribed to that I will not mention a name. Um, so basically the church I'm subscribed to says that we should pray against Amendment 3. Now, why they say that? Right. I don't know. But I don't think everything has to be Christian when it comes to abortions. Um, right. Anybody want to share any comments about this, you most certainly can. Um, you can do that if you want to. You can do that if you want to. Share any comments. Man, this cream is not coming out. Um, but Sorry, I have a bad habit of doing that. <laughs> but uh, if you want to, um, those who want to share what they think about the church and what their um, purpose is, you most certainly can do that. Um, right. Well, first of all, I just want to say I don't think the church... Um, want anything to do with Amendment 3. I don't know why they decide to pray against Amendment 3. I don't know what their purpose is on that. Yeah. But here's my thing. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me turn the light on so you can see. There we go. But anyway, what, what, what were you saying? Um, so here's my thing. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you agree on this. <sighs> Me and Tanisha were talking about how they think everything has to be Christian, right? Well, when it comes to voting and when it comes to things such as Amendment 3, everything does not have to appear as if it's a Christian. Yes, there's times to not believe in abortion, and yes, there's times to believe in abortion. Right. Right. So, I don't know if you guys have any input on this about the church, whether we should leave James River, or, oops, I wasn't supposed to be in <laughs> No, you go, you go. Um, I don't know if we should leave the church and unsubscribe from them until things calm down about this whole thing about Amendment 3 attacking. Because Pastor John, basically guys, Pastor John, hang on, let me get a drink of water. So basically, Pastor John and everybody think that we need to come against the Amendment Three, and I don't, I don't, I just don't think that's crucial. I'm guessing. What, what do you guys think? I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, here's the problem: Are they coming against? Are they? saying that we need to 
Vote no on Amendment 3? Yes. Um, Tanisha and I were talking about this earlier. Right. And we were talking about what to vote and what not to vote, right? You know, normally we don't discuss race, religion, or politics, and I'm sorry I'm going into this, but <clears throat> people have to understand, if even the church, right? Pastor John and Debbie need to understand, and I'm not trying to judge them, right? I'm not trying to judge the church because I love the church, but... I don't love what they're doing, which is praying against Amendment 3, when Amendment 3 is about, um, is good. Right. Yeah, a lot of times they, they, they're, Pastor John and Debbie Lindor are saying that Amendment 3 is damaging and attacking. I don't know if you guys believe that. Now, I'm not going to send this to Austin Bach, to Dr. Bacchus because I'm not going to make him vote for anything. But, <clears throat> right. Oh, no, we won't post this on Facebook. So, is that okay, Chica? What is it? Is that okay if we don't post this on Facebook? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, a lot of times, Pastor John and Debbie want to think that Amendment 3 is very attacking and messed up when we are supposed to vote yes for Amendment 3. They want to vote no because they think they don't need to believe in abortions. Now... I will say this. There are times where you need to say, no, I don't believe that. Okay? But there are times where you have to say, okay, I'm going to stand up, do what's right for God. Right. If God's calling us to vote, yes, on Amendment 3, we're going to do it. Now, we don't discuss politics on this channel normally. <clears throat> and I'm not going to say who's president, who's not, and who's this, who's not. That's not who I am. But I know my scripture very well. And the Bible says that we are to do good yep. to them that please God. We are to do good. And what are we doing by praying against Amendment 3, that praying that strongholds would come down, <coughs> that Amendment 3 would not pass? What are we doing praying that as a church? Right. What are you preachers out there doing praying that as a church that strongholds from Amendment 3 would not pass? What are you guys doing? Right. And I just, I, you know, I just, I feel like maybe it's time for us to leave that church. Maybe it's time for us to leave John and Debbie Lindo for a bit and just... Right. Well, I'm leaving them because I don't believe anything that they have to say about Amendment 3, about um, it being damaging and crucial crucial and attacking. I don't believe what Pastor John and Debbie have to say about Amendment 3. And I'm sorry I'm putting this out there um, on YouTube, but I'm just making you guys aware. you got to be careful what church you belong to because a lot of times... Pastor John and Debbie will think everything has to be Christian. Everything has to be expected. It, yes, accepted as Christian. Well, you shouldn't vote for Amendment 3. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. And that's not what God wants. Right. If God wants you to vote for Republicans, for Republicans, okay? If He wants you to vote for, you know, President, vote for President. He wants you to vote for Amendment 3. Vote for it. Okay? Vote yes on Amendment 3. Don't sit there and act so holy and think you can't vote yes on Amendment 3 because Pastor John and Debbie told you vote no. No. Right. I don't know. That's that's just the way I look at it. I, I, 
I'm sorry, YouTube friends, but I'm not frustrated at y'all. I'm just frustrated at Pastor John and Debbie of what they had to say. Right. Right. And normally, this is not what holiness fellowship means about, but <clears throat> it's fellowship. It's where we come together and discuss critical issues of the church. Why, you know, why are Pastor John and Debbie uh, saying vote no on Amendment 3? Because they think Amendment 3 law should not pass through Missouri. They think it should not be legal to have abortion. Right. When it is legal to have abortion. And I believe that abortion is necessary in times like this. You know? Now, I'm not going to go into the women details here and the women pregnancy and all that good stuff. I, I'm, no, I'm not going to do that because I, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not anything outside of Christianity, okay? <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, what, what do you guys have to say about that? Let me know in the comments below, please, because this is very critical. <clears throat> and what the church needs to understand, this is critical. Mm. Now, does that mean we're going to come up here and talk about it? No, it does not. Right. 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 And see, that's why I've been wanting to leave John and Debbie for a long time, because <clears throat> they think everything has to be a Christian. Right. They think that as the church, that <clears throat> Amendment 3 is damaging, and it's not. Right. It's it's not uh, it's not putting a tax on the states. Okay, <laughs> Amendment Three is good. That's why we're voting yes on Amendment Three because no, I don't believe in abortion, but I believe it is necessary in times like these. Right. Hmm. Especially what women are going through is having miscarriages, you know? Right. Now, we're not going to go into two miscarriage details, but... Mm. But, <clears throat> yes, I think it's time to leave that church, y'all. I think it's time to unsubscribe from James River. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to say it. That's okay, you'll say it anyway. <laughs> I think it's time to unsubscribe from Pastor John and Debbie's channel and just leave that alone because I, I just don't believe that we should pray against Amendment 3. I, I just don't believe in that. Mm. I don't know about you guys. I don't know what you guys are doing this election, but please, guys, please vote for the right people. Please. Please. Whatever you do, whatever God tells you to vote, don't vote with anger. Don't vote with jealousy. Right? Because God don't, God don't like jealousy. Right. Well, I think, too, in times like this, abortion is critical. Mm-hmm. Amendment 3 is very, very important. And why are people voting no on Amendment 3? Why is the church telling you to vote no when you need to vote yes? When God is telling you to vote yes, don't listen to what John and Debbie had to say. You listen to what God had to say. Right. 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 <clears throat> hmm. And we're not going to put this on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to put this on Facebook. Yeah, no, no. No, that's staying with the YouTube community. No, that's 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 not something Facebook gets to know about. <clears throat> but Josh, if you're listening to this, Josh Lester, let me know what you think of Amendment Three in the comments. If you're going to vote for election. If you're going to vote for a member three, if you go against it, whatever. You know? <clears throat> but anyway, anyway. Let's just pray about it. 
<laughs> let's just pray about it. Yeah, let's just pray about it. There you go, Tori. You tell him, sister. Let's just pray about it. Yep. Because I, I don't think that's... I don't think that's right for John and Debbie Lindell to sit there and act so holy and say, Oh, we need to come against the baby three. Right, right. No, it's not. It's not right for John and Debbie to tell the church and to tell a congregation that you don't tell a congregation to go against Amendment 3 when they don't even know what it is. Right. You don't tell someone to vote no on Amendment 3 when you don't even understand. Right. Right. I don't know. I'm sorry, you two. I, I'm not trying to be stressed out about this whole thing, but <coughs> I'm just trying to make the church aware. Right. And well, that's what this Holiness Fellowship meeting is about. And it's about coming to discuss critical issues of the church. It's about, normally we don't discuss race, religion, and, and, and politics, but <clears throat> if they're telling you to vote on Amendment 3, to vote no on Amendment 3 when God is telling you to vote yes, honey, you need to follow after God's heart, not at the church. Right. And one of the reasons that I have not liked Pastor John and Debbie Lindell is because they're sitting there telling their congregation, yup, Telling their congregation to go against Amendment 3. We need to pray that Amendment 3 does not attack. We need to pray against this attack. How do you know if Amendment 3 is an attack? Right. How do you know that? Right. I'm sorry, you two friends and neighbors. I'm sorry, but I, I'm just... Honey, if you're sitting there telling people they need to go against Amendment 3, you're not saved. Right. They're not saved. I'm sorry to say it, but they're not saved. They are not saved. You can't say we're going to go against something and tell your church that you're going to go against Amendment 3 when you don't even know what Amendment 3 is about. Right. Right. If you don't know something, what it is, stay the heck out of it. You know? <laughs> right. No, we're not going to put this on Facebook, I promise. No, we're not going to be on Facebook. Mm -mm. Now, Josh Lester, he can do whatever he wants, but I'm not going to put that on Facebook. Mm -mm. All right. <clears throat> but we need to pray for Pastor John and Debbie Linda. We need to pray for them because... <clears throat> They need to get their hearts right with God if they're not. Right. And they need to... Uh, they need to understand that Amendment 3 is critical. Yep. It's not displeasing. It's not attack. It's not damaging to people. No. Right. Yes, abortion is somewhat of an attack from the enemy. But in times like these, we need Amendment 3. Right. We need it to pass. And I'm sorry to say it, but I don't believe in John and Debbie Linda one bit. Or what they're saying about Amendment 3. I don't believe it. And because of that, we're going to unsubscribe. <laughs> yep. Because God is speaking to our heart and saying we need to vote yes on Amendment 3. You follow after God's heart. Don't follow after your own heart. Don't follow what Pastor John and Debbie Lindell have to say. Right. No. If you feel the Spirit leading you to vote for Amendment 3, vote for it. Right. But we're going to pray after this. Mm. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> you guys ain't had any pup pastries in a while. 
Mm. I love these things. Mm. They're easy to bake too. Just let them thaw out instead of having to make your own dough with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 Mm. But yeah, guys, we're gonna pray after this that um, Pastor John and Debbie would rephrase, vote no on Amendment Three. When really, you're supposed to vote yes. Mm. And they're sitting there telling their church and their congregation to do that? No. Uh-uh. Right, right. Hmm. Man, this is good. <laughs> and if you guys don't know what these things are, these are called puff pastries. They're all flaky. Mm. Well, they're puffy. And that's the good thing about Diggies, as you thaw them out and you bake them, mm -hmm. let them sit for, what, five minutes? Something like that. Five minutes and then, yeah, you just put them in the oven and they're done. Yep. I ain't got to worry about making them. <laughs> it's not like bread kneading. <laughs> it's not like what? Bread kneading. Bread what? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. <clears throat> Bread kneading? Mmm. <coughs> it's not like bread kneading, Miss Uni said. Oh, it's not like bread kneading. I'm sorry, Uni, I didn't hear you. Mmm. It's not like you got to take it out, let it rise, do this, do that, knead the bread. No. <laughs> right. Put it in the oven on parchment paper and you're done. Right. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going out to God's heart and voting yes on Amendment 3, right? Me and my mom are voting yes on Amendment 3. If y'all want it, I can look it up and research it and tell y'all what Amendment 3 is. <clears throat> Man, is a club. <laughs> They're good. I made them just for you guys. You what? I made them just for you guys. Oh, you didn't have to do that. No, no, that's why I said I'd bring them over. That's why I said I would uh, make them because they're quick. <laughs> they're quick and easy cleanup. Yep. Now, tomorrow's going to be the hectic work. Yeah, who wants to make rice crispy treats on the Sabbath? I mean, it's okay, but. Not saying you can't, but I would wait till Sunday. Excuse me. Yeah, I would wait till Sunday too. Mm. That's 
what I would do, but... <clears throat> No, I told you guys you can do it on the Sabbath. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm, we're not supposed to work on the Sabbath. Well, basically what the Bible is saying about work is... Um, The Bible's saying that you shouldn't work on the Sabbath due to job-related stuff or due to gardening-related stuff. You know, you should take a day aside to... Right. Hmm. So you said we're not posting this on Facebook? No, we're not going to do that. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, Tori, I don't want this posted on Facebook, please. <laughs> no, we just want to keep it on the YouTube community. Yep. I'm not going to tell Pastor John and Debbie Lindo about it on the YouTube channel in the chat. I, I'm not even going to tell them I'm voting yes on Amendment 3. I'm just going to pray about it. Right. Yeah, we we got to pray for Pastor John and Debbie's church because... That's exactly why I don't go to James River, y'all. Right. That's why I don't go to James River. I can't believe Pastor John and Debbie are making the congregation pray against Amendment 3 and abortion. I can't... No. I can't believe that. We're going to pray after this. Because I think this is important. Yep. I think it's important that we win souls to Christ. Not judge souls. Not abuse them. Not pray. It's important that we win souls in Amendment 3. Not right. (laughs) Right. Miss Casey? Yes, ma'am. Do you want me to, um... And I'm sorry if I got frustrated at the YouTube people. Oh, you didn't get frustrated. Mm Mm-mm. you got right. Do you want me to, um, throw this paper away or what? I can get that, sorry. Yeah, Miss Diana will get that, sweetie. Are you sure? Yeah, I can get it. I can get it. Sorry for the noise, you guys. Sorry. Sorry for the weird noise. I, Tori, I can get it, sweetie. Are you sure? Yes, I'll get that. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I'm just going to let this soak over right here. <coughs> sorry for the noise, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to bear with it. This is what I do for before the Sabbath all the time. Yep. God, is that thing still on? Uh, let me see. No, but it's still one thing said no. <clears throat> that thing's not on, is it? No, it's not, honey. It's just warm inside, that's all. It's just warm. Yep, it's just warm. That's about it. It's just warm. It's just warm on the inside of it. Yeah. What is this? What's up? Oh, that's marshmallows, honey. That's marshmallows. Here, I'm going to put those on the top of the 
Willis here. He's in here. Or what? The pumpkin cookies. I'm going to put those on top. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to put those on top. What, to move the thing? Yeah. I'm not worried about too much on that right now. Alright. Let's see. Come on. Okay. Oh, boy. Mm. 
So, <laughs> I don't think it did. Now it's on stop recording. Hmm. All right. Turn off the lights, guys, and let's come on in here. And... Hmm. Come on. Why is it doing that? Come on. Stop recording, but speech off. There we go. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> that was my fault. Hmm. All right. We want to pray or... <clears throat> yep. We're going to... You go ahead and start it off, Miss Troy. Awesome. Oh, man. Got to get comfy first. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Lord, we come before you today, and uh, we just thank you for letting us have a great time, letting us have a great opportunity to um, welcome your presence, Lord. and mm-hmm. Lord, just help us to... Vote for the right people at the right time this election. Uh, we only got four more days to go, Father God, before the election. So, yes. Father, I pray for us believers that you would strongly put Amendment 3 in our path. Mm-hmm. And that we would vote for Amendment 3. Well, yes. And, Lord, I just pray for the pastors of this church, Lord, that you would straighten out their hearts. Not that we're trying to be judgmental on here because we're not supposed to do that. Right. But, Lord, that you would strengthen their hearts, Father God, and you would just let them know, Father, that Amendment 3 is needed in this time. And, Lord, you would help us vote for the right people at the right time, Lord. I just thank you so much for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for you calling us to do this at the right time. And Lord, we just ask you to bless us. We ask you to touch us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yeah, Father, I uh, come before you today, and I pray the same thing that we all pray, Father, that you would let us vote for Amendment 3, vote yes, and you would not let any complications go wrong between us and a certain church, Lord, Um, Lord, that we are uniting together as we stand, Uh, Father, that you would give us a clean, pure-hearted mind to want to vote yes on Amendment 3 because it is needed during this time, and Lord, I just pray for those who are voting no on Amendment 3, that you would change their hearts 
and you would have them do what's right, which is vote yes on Amendment 3. And Father, I just pray that you, that they would surrender their lives to you and that they would just have the time of their lives to want to share, um, <clears throat> to want to share the love of Christ with other people who may not know um, Jesus as their personal Savior. But Father, I pray right now for this election. I pray, Father, that you would strengthen them and that you would just help them. You would touch them, Lord. You would let us know who you are. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, guys, we're going to stop here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to stop here, guys. <laughs> so don't forget to like, subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, because we got lots more videos coming, guys. See you later. See you. See you guys later.